Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem one, first order and first degree differential equation. Given problem is solve ax plus hy plus g times of dx plus hx plus dy plus f times of dy is equal to zero. Friends, by the observation, we can say the given problem is in the form of m of x comma y dx plus n into means n of x comma y dy is equal to 0. If the given differential equation in this form, we have to verify which is an exact or non-exact. How we can say the given differential equation is an exact means we have to find out dou m y dou y also dou n by dou x. If both are equal then you can say the given differential equation m dx plus n dy is an exact. If it is an exact we have a general solution directly that is integral of m dx plus integral of n dy is equal to c where y is a constant and this is a free from x terms friends. If it is a non-exact we have a different methods. When we can say non-exact means dou m by dou y naught is equal to dou n by dou x. So first for the given problem we need to separate the m and n value. m is here we have a dx quotient. Okay. Now what is m here? ax plus hy plus g and n is here dy quotient. Here n is hx plus by plus f. Now I am finding dou m y dou y. Dou m y dou y means I am differentiating m partially with respect to y. Here m is containing three terms. Sum of three terms. So while differentiating partially with respect to y we have to treat all other variables as a constant. Is it containing y term? No. So this is independent of y. We can treat this is a constant. Constant derivative with zero plus h is a constant already y y derivative with respect to y is 1 so h into 1 is h plus g is a constant so this derivative with 0 now dou n by dou x i am differentiating n partially with respect to x but n is having three terms now sum of three terms now differentiating n with respect to x means h is a constant x derivative is 1 1 into h is h plus b y is a independent of x so this derivative is 0 plus f derivative is 0 ok friends now you observe what about the dou m by dou y dou m by dou y is equal to h what about the dou n by dou x that is also h therefore you can say the given differential equation is an exact so we will get the general solution what is the general solution you have general solution is integral of m dx plus integral of n dy is equal to c where y is a constant this is free from x terms means we should not take the x terms in this case now integral of m what is m you tell me ax plus hy plus g into dx plus integral of n you should not take x term in n so here hx don't take uh, this term remaining terms what I have by plus f into dy is equal to c now here you observe friends ax plus hy is there now so a into integral of x dx plus hy is a constant while integrating with respect to x yes or no y is a constant now 1 into dx plus integral g into dx plus b is a constant into y dy plus f is a constant you can write f into 1 into dy right or else f dy it's not an issue friends okay which is equal to c which is equal to c okay friends now a into x integration is what you have x squared by 2 plus hy into x plus g into a constant integration with respect to x is x plus b into y integration is y square by 2 plus f into one integration with respect to y is y which is equal to c therefore here you observe friends this is ax square by 2 plus by square by 2 hxy plus gx plus gy is equal to c here you can take a 2 is a common if you take in 2 is common then we will have 1 by 2 times of or else you take 2 and take it a right side then you will have a into x square plus b into y square plus 2 h x y means 2 h x y plus 2 g x plus 2 f y 2 f y which is equal to 
2c actually uh, this c you can write as uh, c1 or else i can write this c right side uh, left side plus c1 is equal to 0 so this is the solution general solution for the given differential equation like this we have to solve the exact differential equation is it clear friends right thank you for watching this video